Today we will be working on graphing polygons. In our previous lesson, we learned how to graph points in a coordinate plane. So now we will be using them, those points, to form polygons. So for our first example, we are given three points to plot and label, and then we will be connecting them to form a polygon. So point R is going to point 3, 5. So we're going to go 3 in the positive direction and 5 in the positive direction. And we are going to label that point R. Point S is going to be at the location negative 4, 2. So we go negative 4 in the x direction, positive 2 in the y direction. And then we have a point T. It's at 2, negative 4. So we go 2 in the x direction and negative 4 in the y direction. And now we are going to label that point T. And we take a straight edge and we connect our points. And we now have a triangle using these three points. Now let's move over to this example. We have four points to plot, and we're going to see which kind of polygon we get. Also notice that in our coordinates, we have some fractions. I don't want you to be afraid of those. A half is just a half. We can do this. So let's, point, let's plot the points that don't have the fractions first. So point B is at negative 1, 2. So we're going to go negative 1 in the x direction and positive 2 in the y direction. So that is point B. Now we have point C, which is at 5, 2. So we're going to go 5 in the x direction and 2 in the y. So that is point C. So we've got those two taken care of. Now let's go back to point A. We're at negative 1, 4 and a half. So we're going to go negative 1 in the x direction, and then 4 and a half in the y direction. So 1, 2, 3, 4, and a half. 4 and a half, just go up half of a unit, half of a box. So there is point A. And our last point is at 5, 4 and a half. So we're going to go 5 in the x direction and then up four, positive four and a half, positive four and a half, one, two, three, four, and a half. So there is our point B. Now we are going to connect our dots, our points, and we have a quadrilateral, and this is actually a rectangle. One final item that we will be doing, I'm going to erase this triangle problem here. I am going to draw a rectangle for us using these points. All right, so I will just label this A, B, C, D. There is my rectangle. Now, the instructions are find the perimeter of that rectangle. The perimeter is the distance around. Okay. So, let's start figuring that out. We have a, our, this is our length, how long is our rectangle, and here's the width, how wide is our rectangle. So, what we are going to do is count the number of units, the number of squares long that side is. So here we are at, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to mark that in, we're going to find that distance. So we're starting... We're going to count along or parallel with the horizontal axis, with the x-axis. So we are going to count 
the number of squares. One, two, three, four, five, six. So that is six units long. We're going from negative two to four. Now we're going to find this distance, the width of this rectangle. And we're going to go parallel. This side goes parallel with the y-axis. So we are going to count down from negative one, one, two, three, four, up to three. So in a rectangle, we learned in our geometry unit that opposite sides are parallel and congruent. So we know that those measures are the same. So if this side is four, this side is going to be four. And if this side is six, this side is going to be six. So remember, we are looking for the perimeter. So if we have a six here and a six here, we have two sixes. So we can say two times six. So we have two of them. And then we're going to add to that two four, two times four. Now you could have written six plus six plus four plus four. You could do that. That would get you the right answer, and that is correct. This is just a little bit more advanced way of writing it. So our perimeter, and perimeter is always a capital P. So 2 times 6 is 12. We're going to use our order of operation, our PEMDAS. We're going to do our multiplication first. So 2 times 6 is 12, and then 2 times 4 is 8. So we now get 12 plus 8, which is 20. So our distance around our rectangle, our, our perimeter, is 20. And there you have graphing polygons on a coordinate plane.